here we are in eastern Virginia, southeastern Virginia. And this is an area that has been long known to botanists to be a particular interest because of the sand hills aspects of this particular part of the world. And it supports the northernmost uh, examples in this region of longleaf pine, the long needle pine uh, that actually grows from here all the way to East Texas. This is an area that takes serious management. And that's what we're seeing here is this gorgeous forest around us uh, is open as it should be. It's a two-layered forest. It's a big tall trees and then a ground cover. Early on when we started working with longleaf it was a hard sell because people thought the tree was all that was interesting about it. And we knew we had red cockaded woodpeckers in the trees but we didn't really understand the, the diversity of the system is really what's around us on the ground. And so that really put longleaf on the map as being a area of high diversity and of many many rare species. What I do now uh, with the Fish and Wildlife Service is take a national look and you really do need the NatureServe network that pulls everything together across the country. So you can study by uh, watersheds, by counties, by states and can pull out species and really get their ranges. And so we use the information in numerous ways but it helps us focus our work so that we don't have random acts of conservation occurring but we really can uh, track how the species is responding if we can get good management. When we get ready to list a species, we really need to understand how rare they are. And we want to make sure we get the right species and the management they need. And that um, information that's in NatureServe is really indispensable for the work we do. It's, um, it's a tree we thought we'd lost, a forest we thought we'd lost. We knew we'd always have a longleaf pine, but they have the whole ecosystem. And to actually take an intact stand and manage it through time and taking a, a site that still had some longleaf, it still had native ground cover, and to really move it into an open stand that has all these wonderful species that we can hear moving through it. And they'll come back. <laughs>